Yo, we got new NF featuring Hop, and we got a new Hop drop in the same week. I'm always gonna be here for that. Roll it. Now, I have been wanting new Hops in for like quite some time. When was his last album? Maybe three years, 2018, 26, 17 in that time frame. I've been waiting and needing some new hot. We got a couple of singles peppered in here and there over the years. We got a couple of quarantine freestyles here and there over the quarantine period. And then we finally got NF and Hopson, which is like a dream collab for a lot of people. I do know that he was like taking a sabbatical or a hiatus because of his like, his mental state was not, he, he, was, he was not right, you know? The dude was going through it and I can definitely respect the step back out of the spotlight to get, to get everything in order again or as much as it can be now i know nothing about this song or the video but everything that i've heard for either is highly highly hyped and highly positive so i'm super excited for it there's really nothing else to say follow your boy instagram twitter discord hit up the twitch that's the most important one right now we're trying to get the twitch live and going and it's a good time over there so if that's your vibe check out the twitch it's the second link in the description but right now we got hobson alone with me let's get it Marcus fucking Hobson, my guy, what up? Don't mean to intervene. How are things going? Yo, that transition into a yo into a cut shot with no cut, and then we transition to him talking to himself. Like I'm, I'm, I'm assuming this is gonna be like his conscience talking to him because he said Marcus fucking Hobson, my guy, what up? Don't mean to intervene. Do what you gotta do, but I'm just here. You know what I'm saying? But like, yo, that transition and then that effect, that like particle displacement effect to like to like bring him in. That's clean. It's clean on its own, but the reason I say it's clean is because there's not even a jump cut. Like you don't see a jump cut at all when the camera pans that way. I don't know. I don't know if the I don't know if the background is green screen. I don't know if he was green screened. I, I don't know how they did that with no cut. Like it was a smooth pan transition. It could have also been. It could have also been a camera that's like on a on a robotic arm that makes the same movement every time and they just record it multiple times. But that's clean. Now now I get why people say the effects in the video crazy. Marcus fucking Hobson, my guy. What up? Don't mean to intervene. How are things going? Talk to me. How you living, G? You look so confused right now. Do you remember me? Cause I've been with you since a teen. Fucking you up mentally. I love it, dude. Stay Bro, the effects are crazy, and it is. It's like his. This is like not his alter ego. Not like slim shaded Eminem. This is like his negative thoughts and and all and all the. His, his negative mentality that's weighed him down since he was a teenager, obviously, he just said it. And it's already dope, the concept in the music video and the way that he's talking, like he's like he's at home talking to Hobson, even though Hobson is clearly like disturbed by him being there, but he still makes himself at home because that is all that's, what, that's where he's been the whole time. It's dope. Cause I've been with you since a teen, fucking you up mentally. I love it, dude. Stay in this yeah, there's gotta be a jump cut in there somewhere. There's gotta be like a cut when the camera pans and it whips fast and then it's just nothing but blur. There's gotta be some type of cut there. Cause I've been with you since a teen, fucking you up mentally. I love it, dude. Staying inside your head with a rent is free. I'm just here to make sure you keep all your crazy tendencies. Look at yourself in disbelief. Struggle with your identity. Stuck in depression until you diagnose with it clinically. How's your Bro, struggle with depression that's into you. Diagnose clinically, like clinical depression. Like, I mean, Hobson said it himself. He's going, he's going through mental battles. But the effects, bro, like just the the disappearing and appearing effect of the of like the blue of the blue smoke pattern. That's it's fucking dope. But these lyrics, Hobson's lyrics to like, especially of his own internal struggle, they're so fire. There's really nothing to break down. I mean, he's not saying anything crazy. He's just like, yo, I live in your head rent free. Like people say on Twitter and people say on like social media, living in your head rent free, you know? You're thinking about me all the time, even when you don't want to. Stuck in depression until you diagnose with it clinically. How's your love life? It's still a trifling mess. Nigga, you 35. You haven't found a wife yet? I mean, if I was you, would I be stressed? Why ES? I guess a male order bride is nice. It might be best. So <laughs> How did you dog he's the, the flow i mean the rhyme scheme and the flow style it's so hobson it's so hobson like it's kind of off like it's he's it's kind of like he's talking on the on the flow instead of like he's flowing to the rhythm of the beat it's very it's very like a normal conversation but everything rhymes you know what i'm saying and he said that mentality that you have like you're still struggling with your love life you're 35 and you haven't been married yet like that's the pressure that a lot of us go through that's the pressure that i'm currently going through right now like it's all cool and all like yeah you're 30 you're not married like 30 is the prime of your life or what have you 
too, but it's still like it's still pressure. Like, what about kids? What about family? Like, are you gonna be 50 like with a with a two year old? You know that type of thing. Are you ever gonna find the one that's out there for you? And if you do find her, is she gonna know that y'all are soulmates and she's gonna stay? That type of vibe. And if she doesn't stay, or if you don't find her, maybe a mail order bride is best. That's that's literally your only option at that point. I guess a mail order bride is nice. It might be best. <laughs> so how did you manage to get rich yet be so empty? Constantly stuck in a deep old frenzy. Maybe your ego ain't eco friendly, bro. You got a life that we don't envy. And I bro, that's gotta be. It's gotta be a remote controlled camera. There's no fucking way. These shots right here. Let me let me show you because I think I said it in the therapy session video. Whenever NF was talking to himself, like they were both in the two chairs, but the camera was still. Like it's easy to do that when the camera is still because you just cut you just cut the scenes and overlay them on top of each other. So it's one side and the other. But this right here, it's much harder to do when the camera is moving because it's impossible to get that same movement twice unless the camera is on some type of rig where it's robotic, like I said, and is able to make the same emotion an infinite amount of times. But like the way the camera moves right here and he throws the bag of money like how are you how are you so rich but you still but you still feel so empty how is your dream coming true being a successful rapper being a successful creative such as myself how 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 are you still empty inside when people would dream for this job but the moment that he like throws the bag of money, that's like the director saying like, yo, this is this is not this is not some post production editing type of shit. This is this is happening live in camera. Oh, y'all saw it right there. Did y'all see the cut? Like the bag doesn't just like deflate and the money opens. It's like the bag is there and then poof, it's gone. And then the money comes out. You can barely see it if you know what you're looking for. Maybe an ego ain't eco friendly. Bro, you got a life that we don't envy. And I've been suicide must be so tempting. Do it. Wait, hold up. Damn. Fuck's wrong with me. I can't leave. It's definitely, it's, yo, the, the hook, is this the hook? This is fire. But it's definitely on some type of robotic arm to where it does the same thing. And the only way I know that is because this vibe right here where, where we got into the hook and it like moves and it stops and moves up and like pulls back and stops. Like that is very reminiscent of Kendrick Lamar's video. Was it for DNA? I think it was. When he's like looking at the camera and it's just moving nonstop. That, that's how I know it's on that type of arm. Hold up. Damn. Fuck's wrong with me. I can't leave me alone with me. Wait. I'm like, who is this what's wrong with me who is this hi and why do i fear him it couldn't be clear it's the man in the mirror i fear myself and my own thoughts hobson is crazy bro so how's the rap life do people enjoy your music or are you still spitting that bullshit to destroy the youth with beyond How's how you, are people enjoying your music? Are you still spit? Hey, is that Joiner on the back of that? That's definitely Joiner on the back of that magazine or on the back of that paper, right? All right, now I'm excited to see what he's about to say or what why that's even in there. But again, just another thing that like is a clue that gives it away that this is multiple takes and but they but they seem it they like put they pull it together so well is because it's rare that Hobson it's rare that that Hobson like the internal conscious Hobson like crosses over the same frame of the physical Hobson with no shirt on. So how's the rap life? Do people enjoy your music? Or are you still spitting that bullshit to destroy the youth with? Be honest, you live in the shadow with Joyner Lucas. Uh -oh. Jealous? I know that you are. My point is proof. What fuck happened? Yo, you live in the shadow of Joyner Lucas. Are you jealous? Because I know you are. My point is proven because he knows he is because he's his conscience. Like, yo, I can understand that mentality. I can understand why that's why that why that would be frustrating because he's seen Joyner Lucas is kind of like meteoric rise in terms of underground hip hop where Hobson is like he has this fan base. I don't know if it's growing or getting any getting any like I don't know if it's growing or going down. But Joyner's like been on the rise. And at this point, Joyner seems like to be the bigger to be the bigger uh, to be the bigger artist. It's kind of the same with me. Like, this is a thought that I would have like, yo, everybody else's every other reaction channels, meteoric rise that ended up passing you are you envious are you jealous of that like yeah the fuck i am and it's not like i hate other reactors or like fuck them for passing me or anything like that it's just that's my that's my competitive nature i'm an extremely highly competitive person proof what fuck happened to you you were spitting so cold you was the ill man i hops in on the list with the ghosts then you Ooh. fell off you should have took a different approach uh -huh. i hate to say it but you'll never be like kendrick or cole nigga. Jeez, fucked up 
That's true. He'll ne and he'll never be like Kendrick or Cole. This is him talking to his his conscience, talking to him like you put yourself in this lane. You put yourself in this hole of like someone who can be kind of corny at times, but you spit hard. But you're also talking about a lot of internal struggle a lot of the time. Could you imagine feeling like that? You're never gonna be big as your peers. Like that's that shit sucks. But that ill mind of Hobson series, like one through what are we on now seven? Like that shit is that shit is crazy. It was a crazy concept back in the day. But you'll never be like Kendrick or Cole, nigga. Damn, it's fucked up. That isn't fair, Marcus. I'm hoping that God will answer your prayers, Marcus. But even if he does, the chances are rare that you'll have hands in the air, headlining Madison Square Garden, Sorry. nigga. Dog, that scheme right there, hands in the air, Madison Square Garden, yo, that... That was crazy. That was a crazy scheme. And I'm assuming this is like his, I'm assuming this is the good part of his conscience. Like it's kind of like the guilty conscience type vibe from Eminem and Dr. Dre, but it's all within himself. But obviously like the orange suit rep represents like the devil side and the blue suit represents like calm and like serene, you know, thoughts trying to be, trying to be at peace. He said, that isn't fair, Marcus. I hope that God answers your prayer, Marcus, but the chances are rare that you'll have hands in the air at Madison Square like that. That scheme is crazy. Chances are rare that you have hands in the air, headlining Madison Square Garden. Ooh. Nigga, put the mic down. Don't you fight this fight. Cause you the corny rapper, only weird white kids like. So every time the vlogs post you, the comments gon' roast you. I would rather be dead than be caught living in your shoes. Duh, yo. The corniness that you portray, only the white kids like that shit. You don't garner the audience that that people would say is the true hip hop audience. That's that's got to be something that like messes with your mentality. I mean, I'm a fan of Hobson and I'm a fan of NF, but I can say that from like the outs or from like a from a hip hop heads like perspective, I can see why he has those thoughts. And it's the same way why NF doesn't really. That's the same way why NF doesn't really get the attention that he deserves for his rhymes because his fan base isn't the typical isn't the typical hip hop fan base. So that kind of alienates him. And NF is fine with that. But Hobson here is like, yo, I want to be known. For, I want to go down as a great hip hop artist. And and the blogs roast me because the only kids that tend to like me are are in what would be like the Caucasian hip hop fan base, you know? And then just the whole just the whole concept of like of like rap battling each other and and, and his conscience winning, because that's basically what's going on in his head at all times. And I don't know if he's alluding to different moments in Eminem's career or different music videos, because this would be this would be more reminiscent at eight mile and then right before like i said would be reminiscent of guilty conscience and then before that before that it would be like eminem or slim shady talking to eminem you know it's crazy i would rather be dead than be caught living in your shoes hey, hold up i'm tripping folks wrong with me i can't leave me alone with me i'm like who is this nigga why do i feel The hook is fire. I'm expecting like Hobson, like I'm I'm expecting the last verse to be like Hobson be like, fuck this, fuck all that. Like what like I am who I am, you know, like kind of talking back to his conscience and owning it. But I don't know if that's gonna be the case. But the hook, I just pause it to say the hook is fire and to say that that's what I hope happens. Hold up, please stop. Scott control of me. I don't know who I'm supposed to be. I'm like, who is this nigga? Why do I feel it? It couldn't be clear. The man inside the mirror. Alright, I got an idea. I'll tell you how it works. It's gonna sound a little outrageous, but hear me out first. Turn your phone off for two weeks. Yo, this, this video is crazy, bro. Tell you how it works. It's gonna sound a little outrageous, but hear me out first. Turn your phone off for two weeks and start an outburst of worried family members, which leads to a local town search. And when they find you, you dead inside of your crib with a letter that says goodbye to your kid. <laughs> but you don't get to see him anyway, cause your ex is wild and shit. So when this little head, it's like you already died. It's a trip. Why you resign? Dog, see like this this like negative spiral that he goes down into inside of his head. It's just like it's just him, his thoughts spiraling out of control into worst case scenarios. Like I got I got like a, I got an idea. Go out on an outburst. I don't know if it would be considered an outburst, but there was a moment where like his fans and I'm sure his family realized that he was suicidal. Then they go into the house and then find him dead. And then that means he won't ever be able to see his son, which is which is like he he might as well have been dead to him in the first place because the baby mama doesn't let him see him in general. She's down there in Australia and shit. That's what his whole last album was kind of about. Like that's what that's what the ill mind of Hobson seven or eight on that album with the snake on his on his on his shoulders. That's what that was about. So fire though like like you're gonna kill yourself but the people that you're most important to like your son you're already dead to him anyway that's dope when this little head it's like you already died it's a trip why you reside in heaven and hell whichever side that it is your baby mom's a regret the shit she never tried to get fixed if you're alive chances are she'll never try to repent i'm just trying to show you ways to exercise your revenge all you want is love bro i'm just trying to show you ways to exercise your revenge all these different emotions talking to him in his head son like and like the ones that are like the ones that are plotting or the ones that are like thinking 
all the way out of like this entire scenario in his head. They're like they're like scientists. They're the ones that are calculated and formula and formulaic based to where like this is what's going to happen if you go down this route. And your baby mom's going to try to she's going to try to after you're dead, she's going to try to make up for what she didn't do. But while you're here, she's never going to admit that that she wants you to see the kids. She wants to repent. She wants to like she wants to fix things. It's crazy. I'm just trying to show you ways to exercise your revenge. All you want is love, right? Well, you're going to have to get some balls. Shoot the fucking brains out until they splat oh. against the walls. I mean, it has to hit the... Hold up, hold up. That was a fucking dope-ass animation right there. This whole thing reminds me of Corridor Digital, like the, the YouTube channel, like the way that they like poof and appear. Corridor Digital does that all the time in their YouTube videos. And then like this this animation, this 3D effect of the guns, it looks very, it looks very Corridor Digital-esque in terms of like their signature style, you know? Revenge. All you want is love, right? right? Well, you're gonna have to get some balls. Shoot the fucking brains out until they splat against the walls. I mean, it has to hit the blogs and all your fans are getting involved and you'll be missed because people don't know what they have until it's lost. Hug your daddy. Dog, so fire, son. You want you want to get some fans? You want to get loved and kill yourself, son? That's such a shitty, like, thought mentality. That's like it's such a shitty concept to have in your mind and I know a lot of people have it. It's exactly what it's exactly what 21 Pilots is talking about in Neon Gravestones. You have until it's lost. Hug your daddy, kiss your mom before this transition is done into the new life your current one is trash it isn't fun yeah everybody got problems and we all fighting this big war but your problems are different you got nothing to live for hold on we're all fighting these problems it's all just one big war but your problems are different you got nothing to live for that's heavy your problems are different you got nothing to live for hold on Fuck's wrong with me, I can't leave me alone with me I'm like, who is this nigga? I'm riding my feral, it could be clear The man inside the mirror Hold up, please stop. Scott controlling me. I don't know who I'm supposed to be. I'm like, who is this nigga? Why do I feel it? It couldn't be clearer than the man inside the mirror. What I'm thinking, what you're thinking is not the important thing. We are alive right now. Bro. Shit is crazy, son. That little moment where it's the hook, but the beat drops out in different moments and it gives it a little bit of different energy. So it's not the same repetitive hook over and over. It's, it's fire. And then at the end of the day, I guess he's praying like or like bowing. I don't know what his religion is. Bowing to uh, to the West. I don't know if that's true or not, but that's kind of the vibe that I'm getting. What you're thinking is not the important thing. We are alive right now. That is the important thing. It is important that you focus on this fundamental sense of aliveness within you. And then you will see there is a natural distance between you and your thought process. Once you create a little space between you and your mind, between you and your body, this is the end of suffering. Don't identify. I don't know who's talking, talking about like, obviously you need to like you, like you were the only one who has control over your mental space and you're the only one that could end your suffering. I, I don't know who that is talking. Fits perfectly within the, within the song and within the video. If I, any thought is negative because it's just a thought. You're making it up, maybe you like it. What's the problem? If you understand it's just a thought, it has no power. If you think it's a reality, then it destroys you. So fire, bro. Whole video is dope. Whole video is dope. And I like the fact that the end right there, he like, he's, it's kind of him like being symbolic and telling his fans or like, kind of like, yo, I I'm going to be killing these demons that are inside of me. That they're not going to get the best of me. That's like the point of like handing over the grenade. That's what I assume at least. But yo, that whole song and the video specifically, like everybody was hyping the video and that's rare. That's rare when people, when, when artists put out music videos, it's rare where people like your average person, not someone who edits for a living or someone who, who records videos for a living. I know what to look for. I know what's dope about the video and what makes it cool. But like your, when, when your average person comes in and is like, yo, the video is fire. That's when it's like, oh shit, it's got to, it must be really fire. And it was. The effects on this video, the camera movement, the panning, the robotic arm movement, the, the, the duality of having him, like multiple versions of him in the same scene. All of that is crazy. And it fits the song perfectly. Now I understand. Now I, I hope that we're getting a Hobson album soon because I, I've been in need of one for since his last one, basically. The dude just tells a story of internal struggle and anxiety and depression and all these crazy thoughts that are going through his head he tells it he tells that type of story better than anybody shit is crazy son this right here was fire but yo 
That brings us to the end of this video, ladies and gentlemen. If you like what you see, please consider liking the video, leaving a comment down below. If you like what you see enough, please consider subscribing. Long form breakdowns, analytical thoughts, commentary, feedback, music video analysis. That's how we get down around here. So if that's your vibe, hit the subscribe button along with the notification bell. If you're someone who likes watching live streams and being a part of a stream community, then consider clicking the second link in the description. That is the Twitch. We are live over there on Twitch. I'm trying to do it four days a week to start and we'll see how it goes. But, it, but the Twitch is a vibe. We're just all just chilling over there. Over there it's a nice it's a nice little relaxed atmosphere if you want to support the channel directly i make virtually zero money on these breakdowns because the record label takes takes the monetization for me using the the copyrighted song so if you want to support the channel directly and allow me to do these videos full time like other people have then consider joining the patreon it's always the second first second first link in the description the patreon you're kind of subscribing at whatever tier you want to to support me and you're getting extra perks that are that are not going to be on youtube per se but that's all that i got for you today i appreciate everybody's time and like i always say at the very in, go out there in the world, love and care for one another, love and care for each other, and I'll catch everybody in the next video. Peace.